Okay, it's um, the last Saturday in July and I'm going to do some chip budding. Um, this is um, one of the May Queen trees and I really am promoting this tree. I think it's a marvellous tree. Uh, it's extremely rare, very, very rare indeed. If you doubt that this is rare, try and find one. Uh, it's a very late keeping apple. Uh, but anyway, I have about May Queen right now. Uh, I'm just going to select a bit of wood to um, to do a chip bud from. Uh, you're taking from this year's growth. This is, timing is critical uh, because you want to take a, a piece of wood from the current year's growth. I'm going to take this bit here. Uh, it's got to be mature, but obviously you've, got, you've also got to have enough of the growing season left. I'm taking this from down here. And the first thing I'm going to do instantly is snick the uh, I filmed this last week but the the GoPro is often the case <laughs> wasn't uh, at the right angle I'm just going to snip that off there I don't want that um, as you can see hopefully uh, obviously this is the the oldest part, this is a shoot start coming out in April and as we go down it's a little bit less mature any of this will do uh, that's all I need for the very small amount of, um, of uh, graft, I'm just going to do a couple of these today okay so I'm just going to turn the uh, camera off to avoid uh, making this video too long okay going to do the um, chip bud normally about the third week of um, July is the best time to do this as, well, as, as always you know, a bit of give or take now, what you need to do this is a rootstock. This is a very suitable one, smelling about 106. This happens to be uh, a leftover from a previous project. I mean, ideally, this will be growing clean in some well cultivated earth. Do not worry about that. You need some appropriate cyanwood, which I've just cut. You need some tape. This is the tape I use. Parafilm is probably better. You need a knife, a sharp, small, sharp knife. Now, as it happens, I came out this morning to do another job. Uh, to do a bit of um, wheelbarrowing of dung, which we've been doing. I, I picked up one of my number six opinals. Um, long standing viewers will know I'm a great fan of uh, the French made uh, opinal pen knives, um, uh, which make a, a, a range of sizes. And the number six, I think, is the most ideal one for this grafting. Number eight will do. Number eight is the best general purpose knife. This is a number 12. As you can see, it's quite a substantial knife. Uh, it's made to exactly the same proportions as the others thin sharp blade but this is the only knife I've got now I can't get out here again for another week and now is the time I should have put this video up a week or two ago in fact I attempted to I took a video last week uh, but it, it, it didn't come out very well yeah, I got the angle wrong um, anyway so I'm using this knife it's it's it's, just, it's a bigger knife than you should use okay but I'm pressing it to service I've given it a sharpen I've sterilized it with um, alcohol gel okay we make four cuts and a tire here and that's about all we do um, the same principles as we use with grafting apply timing clean cuts tie in well now I've gone in there at an angle of about 30 degrees now going in about a centimetre and a half above it 15 millimetres if you like at an angle of 30 degrees I'm turning the knife round ok uh, so I'm going down parallel what I now do is make an identical cut here, removing a bud. This is the technique is called chip budding. Um, take care before cutting yourself. You see what I'm doing there? Just slipping that in. Avoid touching it. Avoid, avoid touching the clean surfaces. Avoid contamination. I'm just shaving now behind there to make sure to make sure that it fits in good live wood to live wood. You see, might need to adjust that very really slightly. Now we tie it in. Couldn't be a lot easier, could it, really, when you think about it. This is the, the method that's used commercially. I apologise for the strange angle that this might be at. Um, I'm just having to lie down on the ground to get down to this level. Uh, my body's nowhere near as flexible as it used to be. Right, that's probably enough. I'll just go down and take a bit more, make sure I've got enough. Um, get good cover. 
tied that in with a couple of half hitches. The, there's not so much urgency on removing this um, as uh, moving, moving the tie in a timely manner as there is with uh, grafting. As in, in the, you do grafting in April and between April and July a lot of growth is going to take place but we're not going to get so much growth happening now. Um, so I would tend to leave that on now uh, I guess uh, until September take it off then and uh, what if it's taken and you hope it will have taken then what you'll do in the switching for my secretaries uh, um, what you do then in um, I cut myself uh, in the spring assuming that this is as, as united you'll then make a cut like that just above it just above the um, you know a little bit higher rather than a little bit lower is better stick that out and then this should grow away